traders got a it's a red day recap today only because it was some bs man um i was really green on all my trades i took like, like four or five trades that and i was green on all of them except for this stupid little candle right here that i did not actively try to trade this this candle um i had like a long here got the green tp but it was a it wasn't a a bracket order so it still had a pinning order here for a sale which was which was my stop loss when the news hit came down went up bs um yesterday i took a good trade too man it was a nasty trade i made about made about eleven hundred dollars on that and today i was up eleven hundred dollars but this one trade took me out at freaking three thousand dollars so let me uh go to the settings here show you the executions here so I just, all i'm gonna do is just show you guys uh um <clears throat> know where i got in at and stuff like that today so this was last night during the um if you watch my asian session live video you can look at it i was in the trade i took a small loss here this was around what yeah about seven o'clock i took a buy rejected the 50 ema off some low volume here and i took a loss on this candle here nothing nothing major it's like a like a 400 dollars loss 500 dollars loss something like that yeah, so I bought around here. Oh, that's the wrong way. Bought around here. Made, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible because I want to show you the trade that I really, really liked. It's two trades that I really liked. Um, so I bought here at uh, let's see, it says at uh, 26, two at 26. So you just move this on up. I bought here at 26. Stopped out at uh. I got stopped out pretty quick. Stop out was 24.5. So I got stopped out here. So right right below this, uh, right below here. But I was really targeting like somewhere up here. But the 50 EMA rejected. It was cool. Got back in though here. I took a buy off of this candle here. And why I took the buy was because if I do replay for like here. After I took the loss. I was cool. Okay, I took the loss of water, whatever, whatever. But as it was coming down, look at this volume increase here. How I trade VSA is, um, which is not my idea, nothing like this. I got this from Pete Faders, my mentor. On down moves, and this uh, this is like an increase in the volume over the recent range. That is that signifies strength, signifies buying, especially if the next candle closes green. But sometimes in this candle won't close green like here. <clears throat> the candle didn't close green. The volume is still high. Didn't increase. I, I, it could it could increase, but it didn't need to increase because it didn't go lower in this candle. I'm gonna go in depth with how I think about it um, on other videos, but I just wanna give you like a rundown. The volume increase. So this is the support now with this low. As long as price doesn't close below here, this is this this is considered strength in VSA, which means volume spread analysis. Next candle, we're getting wicks, we're wicking out. The volume is low, that means they're not buying in this area, but it also means the sellers are not selling in this area either. You know, if the volume is low, that means they're not buying here because we're at a support level. The seller should be able to take that down. But they did see that there was some buying here because it's not you're not getting a reaction. The result is not closing below here. Uh, I know I'm probably going fast, but I'm trying to get my, my thought process. Came down again. And you see how it came down and it flipped bullish with an increase in volume at the lower prices. That's strength to me. So I think I think I went long here. Nope. Tested the 14 EMA. This is another test area for sellers. Volume is low. Look at the volume bar. It's low. And it's a nice spread. That's the imbalance. Still push it up. It closed bullish. I get it here somewhere. I think it might pull it back. Where did I get in at? See, all of this higher price is not really showing an increase in volume. You know, especially not over this or over this here. So total support. Again, it's trade very soon. I think it dumps, comes back down because we have resistance up here. Oh, I probably, what the hell? Oh, it's not showing my executions because I guess I'm in replay mode. Like, that's weird. 
where are my labels at, man? Sorry, y'all. This is bull. But anyway, I took a buy off this candle here. And I made freaking $1,100 on that trade. So, that's, that's crap. It's don't even show it. That's crap. Sorry, y'all. Get out of this bullshit. I can't even do a replay mode. But anyway, you see here is where I bought it. I bought here off this candle. Went up and I sold it here. Next trade, which was on my live, was here. Um, I want to take a sell up here, but didn't. I took a sell here. And as it was coming down here, still replay. So, we did close up above, but look at the volume. And there's another VSA aspect, another rule, another concept that Pete Faders, Pete Faders uh, came up with. Well, he didn't really come up with it, but yeah. As prices is moving up, this to me is weakness. This is bearish stuff to me. Price is moving up, volume is increasing over the range. So they're selling into the move, ain't have a wick. That's why this candle here didn't continue up. It came to a resistance area, flip bearish. So I, I should have, I was slow. I should have been taking sales like now, but I was slow. Came down to the 14 EMA, where it's the test for buyers as well. Back to a support level. I've been, I drew this afterwards. So this is the 14 EMA. So this is really the automatic support as well. If you look at if you look at if you look at Richard Wyckoff and how he labels <clears throat> his patterns and stuff like that, all this stuff is in there. So you got the automatic support right here, came down, pushed up, and I took I had a sale on this candle. I got out for like a little small profit. Then I took a buy here. It was a bad buy because I didn't like how I bought towards resistance. I bought like I bought on this candle here. And then I close it, <clears throat> like right up in here somewhere, I close it. All right. But the best trade I took, and I'm going to show you where I got the loss on, was here. Was here, man. So this was last night. I bought, I made money here. And this was a nice setup here, man. Let's replay this. As it was coming down, look at, look at, look at all this volume. So even though we're coming down, this is... I'm not taking sales and not gonna chase this because the volume is increasing, even though it is selling. I mean, I'm looking at this as kind of like buying. We gotta see what the result is. The result is what the next candle, how the next candle closes. Bearish. So that was selling. So all that volume here signifies selling because the next candle closed bearish. Coming down again to another support level. Volume increased. And that right there was like a signal for me to go long. Came down to a previous support, kind of like a double bottom type of action here, with the volume increasing here. Look at the volume here when it made the support, when it first touched here. Look at that compared to when it first touched here. So that's 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 the buy signal. And I went long off of this candle. And it was a nice long. I had my TP was like up here around there. TP smashed. But I had a stop loss pending here. Because I put it there manually. It wasn't a bracket order or whatever the crap. And I'm at the trade thinking I'm good. I made my $1,100 for the day. And I get this crap. I, I really was up $2,000 today, man. And I get this crap. So this dumbass shit. It, it, my, my, pending, my order was still pending. Came down. Took me out. I mean, it took me. It gave me a sale. It didn't even put me a sale here. It put me a sale at 1920 way down here at the bottom. And then flipping took me out. And what kind of made me so frustrated was because, you know, top step, they once you hit the the thousand dollar max loss limit, they they close your account, they close your your trades for you. I guess because this was news, they didn't do it. So I ended up losing like three thousand dollars, man. I I really lost four thousand dollars. So look at my account, six thousand seven ninety three when I was really up sixty four one twenty two, until this happened. So, I just want to show you a little quick re recap. I'm um, trying to get more consistent. I'm trying to get back in the flow of how I make these videos. Um, um, I probably will make videos on how I do my VSA stuff or my, my version of it or how I do it. But it's the same version of how I've been copying uh, Pete Faders, which is he's like, he has a YouTube channel, a small YouTube channel. But um, most of my, my ideas and my concepts come from him and from a, a book that I read with VSA Trader. So, yeah, man, I got a red day. It's all good. Um, Next week, man, I'm probably going to start a new challenge, and I, I really don't feel like trying to make 
I gotta freaking make. Let's see. Let's see what my account is at now. I gotta freaking make ten thousand dollars, dog. Like I don't. I really don't even feel like doing all that, man. I'm ready to have a live account. Start trading in it. All right, I gotta make ten thousand one hundred forty eight dollars. Ten thousand one forty dollars right now. I just lost four thousand dollars, so now I gotta probably make fourteen thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars, something like that. All because of this dumbass day. This this how I got messed up because my one of my sale orders was pending, and it, it took the orders, and that's how I made freaking fourteen thousand dollars in one day. And then the other day I lost nine thirty six. See, I lost nine thirty six on the ninth, which was yesterday. My my account was done. I couldn't even trade no more. And I even lose a thousand dollars. Lost nine hundred thirty six. Made two thousand dollars back yesterday. Just some bull crap, man. Meaning wise, man. Anyway, man. Thank you guys for watching this money games.